preparedness for beginners and do I have something for everybody out there we're talking this is the EBL 330 watt power station we're going to be reviewing today with the solar panel and stick around because there's a great deal that you can get right now on Amazon for both of these together everybody needs to be doing one of these so we're going to get going on this review and we're going to start doing this review right now But first, and I want to show you what comes with everything in the box when you order it. EBL Portable Power Station comes in this nice sturdy box right here. It's packed very well. I have to say I was very impressed in how well it was packed. You do get the unit, the 330 watt EBL. You get a manual. You get your car charger that you can, so you can charge this in your car. You get your solar panel charger and you get your wall charger. And this is what comes in the box. This is everything right here. Three different ways to charge this. And it's a very good system in order for you guys to have something that's affordable with the price that's going on right now with the 100 watt solar panel. So let's get going and let's see what this bad boy right here can do. This EBL 330 watt battery bank is very well built. It's very well put together and everything else. You have a nice handle here that you can grip the unit, pick it up and move it around. On the corners, you have all rubber backings on all the corners to protect it and everything else. You have a vent here. You have your fan over here. Right on the very tippy top here is for your cell phone charger. All right, this thing is just packed full of all types of goodies. Now, let's get to the very front here. You have your power button, your LCD display. You have two right here. You have two DC outputs. You have your car charger. You have a port C at the very bottom here. Three USB ports, 3.0. Your 110 for charging things like that. Over here, you have your plug-in to charge with your wall. You can charge it with your car charger and you can charge it with a solar panel that did come with this unit that I'm going to show you here in a little while. You also do get a light and the light has the SOS built into it. So if you're in an emergency situation, it's good to go. This thing is really packed full of all different types of really nice features for the price. And you guys are going to be amazed at the price right now on Amazon when I get to telling you about that. All right, we got everything in view here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off and we're gonna charge, start plugging in our headlamps. We're gonna plug this in. USB, okay. Go with the next one. All right. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug in our extension cord here and we have a really big fan over here on this side. And then we're gonna plug this in. And let's put on the AC. Let's plug in the radio. The fan is running. So right now we're drawing about 78 watts. All right, now let's put my cell phone on the top it's charging, as you all can see, 77 watts. So let's see what we got going here. We have our radio. We have two headlamps that are charging. We're running that fan, as you can see. We're running this fan, as you can see. Oh, we're charging my cell phone too. We're pulling 124 watts right now. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Okay, we just plugged a couple more things in and you can see it's pulling 133 watts right now. And we're now at 92%. I'm charging my headlamp, headlamp, two pads. All right, I'm charging a radio and I'm running two fans. 
they're all hooked into this power strip. So you see there's four things hooked into this power strip that comes over here and plugs into here. You can hear the fan over here is running right now. My cell phone is still charging. And let's see where we're at. So far, I think she's holding up pretty good, folks. I mean, this is uh, powering a lot of things here. Let's see how long it takes. All right, folks, she's just about dead. She has been running for two hours and 37 minutes. And we charged my cell phone, which is fully charged now. You can see, it says fully charged. Charges up my radio, pads, headlamp, two fans running, and she should be just about dead. And there we go. Everything just went off. Everything just stopped. She is dead. Let's get her hooked up to the solar panel. Okay, so the front of my house faces the south and being that we're coming into winter, as you can see, these are right outside my garage door. Okay, you see they have these great stands and stuff right back here. All right, so let's wrap up this review real quick on the EBL, the 330 watt pure shine wave technology battery bank, All right? The pros. This thing will charge a lot of different things. It's not gonna charge a refrigerator or a freezer or something big like that. But as far as smaller things, this thing does the trick, all right? It did charge a lot of different things and run things at the same time. It does have a great feature with your cell phone. You can just set it right on top and then it will charge that right up. I like the fact that it's three uh, 3.0 USB ports. Uh, that is very nice and everything else. Um, it is not heavy. It's only 7.2 pounds. So overall, this is a really good bang for your buck. The only con that I did have was it's supposed to draw 60 watts off of the solar panel to charge this thing. And it's supposed to charge in about four hours on solar. Um, it wasn't doing that. The most it would draw was uh, 47 watts. It would not even get close to the 60 watts. And I live in Florida. I had my solar panel headed to the south full sun it's 80 some odd degrees outside and the most that this thing was allowing to come in was 47 watts which caused it to charge longer so overall it did charge it just took a little bit longer that was the only real con i could find to this it's very well built it's very sturdy and the whole nine yards and if you go on my amazon storefront right now just click the link, all right? You can go in, you can get this bundled deal. Just look for the battery banks, click on the battery banks. The first battery bank that's listed right there is this one right here. You can get this, it retails for over 500 bucks. You can get it right now for $354, all right? It's a great deal. Save yourself some money, especially in the times that we live in. In case you need some power backup, you never know what's going to happen this winter. Uh, maybe you need to run a small heater or something, maybe intermittently for a few hours to keep one room in your house somewhat warm so you people don't go cold in the winter. If there are power outages or anything else due to bad storms, this would also be something good to have in your vehicle if you have to travel in the winter time. This way, if you have to, you can always charge up anything, flashlights, cell phones, the whole nine yards. And it's a great little thing to have. And like I said, it only weighs 7.2 pounds. So I'd like to thank you for this watching this review with me today. I am Survival Preparedness for Beginners. I think this is a great deal, a bundled deal for all of my people out here, all the community members, all the subscribers, even if you're not subscribed, you need to check this out because the deal isn't going to last long. And if you're getting this and a solar panel for 300 and some odd bucks, that is a deal of the day. So I suggest you all check this out and make sure that you are staying safe. Keep prepping. And until next time, I'll catch all of you on the solar side. Got me?